Hello everyone, this is Mukundam Dagavan and in this video we are going to explore on the LCNC platforms, especially Catalan Studio. What is LCNC? In general, LCNC stands for Low Code No Code Platforms. These low code, no code platforms enable all the users to contribute to the test automation. There are a lot of tools and test automation tools available in the LCNC platform for testing. However, Catalan Studio is the very famous one and being used by so many people. And in this series, we are going to explore the LCNC platforms, especially the Catalan Studio. As the name suggests, this Catalan Studio does not need much coding experience. Anybody from the functional background can do the automation. Let's jump into the video and try to understand what is Catalan Studio, what is LCNC, and the initial installation part for the Catalan Studio. Let's go to the chat GPT and try to understand what is low code, no code in test automation. Basically, low code, no code test automation enables all the users, especially functional testers, subject or matter expert, so business users, business analysts, anyone can contribute to the automation part. And it is visual interface where you will have the pre-built components to create the test automation test cases. For example, if you need to do the automation in other platforms, which are coding based, there you need a lot of things you need to set up by yourself. And it has to be set up in all the systems and all the platforms that if you want to repeat the same. Whereas this Catalan Studio or LCNC platforms will give all the pre-built components to you. Directly, you can start building your test automation. With that knowledge, we will go to the Catalan Studio. And if you go to the home page, it will show all the possible things. For example, why Catalan and what is the different platform? And what are the different options we have? For example, in platform, you have the test authoring using the Catalan Studio. And even you can see the AI powered testing, which are like a visual testing and true test. And solutions, it can cover web testing, desktop testing, mobile testing, ABA testing, AI visual testing, enterprise app testing, and so on. However, if you come to the pricing part mainly, the Catalan Studio is totally free where you can do the test automation for the web, API, mobile, and desktop. Whereas if you go to the premium, you will have some more things such as like a Catalan test cloud, a runtime engine, as well as the collaboration between the users, Git integration, and a lot and lot of things will be there. Then coming to the Catalan Studio installation or downloading. If you just click on the download button, you can see Catalan Studio Enterprise, where you can download directly, which I have already downloaded. It will be the Catalan Setup EXE file. When you just execute, it will install the Catalan Studio in your system and go to your windows and type for Catalan Studio. It will show the Catalan Studio V9 as per today date and it will open the Catalan Studio. And today we will just try to see what is Catalan Studio, how the UI looks like and what are the things we can do very basic level. So once you open here, you will be having a lot and lot of options. Even it will have the demo video also to understand further what are the things we can do. Let's start with a new project. And even you can have the sample projects here, which you can use it directly if you know already the Catalan or that any test automation. But let's start with from scratch. New project, let's say demo day one. So here we will start from the blank, let's find. And it will be saved into the Catalan Studio folder. That is also good. Let's start, click OK. Here you can see as soon as you created, the entire structure has been created where you will have the test cases, object repository, test suites, data files, checkpoints, keywords, test listeners, reports, and include. And for the Git perspective, there is a Git ignore and Gradle file. So basically, if you see this tool, even though it looks like a LCNC, in the backend, there will be some components which will use the coding part. However, as an end user, you don't need to worry about anything on the coding part. And here you will have the different options, right? And we will go through each and every topic in the coming videos. But this video, we will try to understand the very basic record and playback. Go to here and see there is an icon with the globe symbol and it is having the subtext or let's say read text as record web. Just click on that. And there is a demo URL also given by the 
Catalan, demo AUT Catalan.com and you can just click on the record. Here the drop down will be there to choose multiple browser versions or multiple browser flavors. Let's go with the Chrome itself and click on record. It opens directly. Let's go to the URL. Keep this aside or minimize, that's fine. And click on make appointment. Let's copy the sample data which they provided. Login. Choose Hong Kong. Give some date. Click on Medic Aid. Book appointment. Okay. Give some comments also. Test. Book appointment. Yes. This is done. Now, if you go to the recorder, just stop recording. And here you can see, maximize this. Here you can see all the steps that you have done has been recorded here. In case, if you want something to be changed in the future also, it can be done. The input, output, description, and the objects. Obviously, even though it is LCNC, you are interacting with the web elements. So those elements can be taken care by the catalog itself. Now, after completing everything, just save script. And this is saving not only your test case, but also all the objects. Objects in the sense, it's a web element. For example, your input value, your text box, your drop-down value, your login button, everything will be saved. And those are the things being saved under the object repository. And there is a folder also has been created. So by default, you just click on the OK. Now we are going to give the test name. We should be giving the proper name, appointment, Hong Kong. And even you can give the description and tag name so that in the future, if you have the multiple test cases or in the framework level, you can execute a different test cases by attaching with the tags. However, I will just give the description. Basic test. Click OK. Now here you can see appointment Hong Kong has been created. And here you can see all the things. And you can notice object repository also there where it will just have all the collection of the objects that you have created. Let's execute and try to see if it is re-executing or not. To re-execute, you can see the run button here. Just click on that. And let's see how it goes. So there is a problem. See what is happening. So when you try to click on this one, set text, which is coming in sixth step. So it is not setting the text, but in case if you are from the different background, you know that it is not about only setting the text. We can see some other value or some other option to do that. Just click on this drop down, and here you can see set text. Same time you can see send keys. So here you can see send keys. So there is a similar option rather than set text. Okay, now after making the changes, just click on outside. There will be asterisk symbol in your test script. You can just save it. It's so simple that you can directly make the changes inside your manual script itself. You don't need to go any coding part, right? And even if you want to change the username and password, you can directly have the clear segregation in your input column. Now we have saved it. Again, we will run it and see. Now this time it is going well and it's selecting the Hong Kong date and the comments book appointment done. So this is a very basic version that you can see the test results also here. What are the steps has been done and everything. Now let's minimize this and see. Now we will go through little more options here. This is a manual script that you can see. However, in the back end it will generate the test scripts. So these test scripts can be seen here. But you don't need to worry. If you are from the functional background, you don't need to worry because your total control can be taken from here. If you want to do the different action or if you want to change the object or if you want to change the input value, you can make it anything here. Even if you want to add anything manually, for example, web UI keyword or let's say decision making statements, everything can be directly here. So you don't need to type anything as a coding part. 
right and after that we will have the variables in case of in future if you want to do any little kind of automation because that's the reason it is mentioned low code it does not mean that no code fully some places it will be the low code in case if you want to have the excel sheet or csv file to give the test data that time you can do the data binding which you will be seeing in the coming videos and integration part and other properties and so on so basically straightforward simple scenarios can be directly recorded and playback and if you just explore the object repository also for example let's click on the button login if you see the button login here you can see it is generating the xpath obviously it is generating the xpath but it's not generating only one xpath it's generating multiple xpath so that's where the consistency will come into the test automation it obviously will have the multiple options so that it will try to check for that element with the different attributes or different xpath and these things also will come into picture in case if you have the failure or flaky test cases and in this again you can see other lot of options also which we will be going to the coming videos again we will go to the basic test case and here we have seen enough and here you can see the test run history and add to the test suit we can add to the test suit since we have only one test case we will do it later and here you can see mobile testing and here you can see what is that windows recorder and the best part is here you can include your chat gpt also for a enabled testing in the coming videos and here you will have the git so that you can share your project or clone the project from the git itself and there are a lot of other options debug options so you can debug with the different browsers or different checkpoints even you can right click here and try to execute or try to debug from here right and you have the reports the reports folder will be created here when you have the report configuration properly then what are the other things we could see so studio walkthrough so there is a, some starting diagram where you can try to see all the things you will play some videos to try to understand further and what is this plus symbol so you can create the test cases directly here and self-healing which is a very good one which is not available by default in coding let's say any coding related test automation tools for example selenium and uh, other things we need to do manually here self-healing is there and remaining option looks good in case if you don't want this ui maybe you want to change the theme you can change it to the dark mode if you go to the windows and dark mode and other preferences will be coming in the videos see now in this videos what we have seen we have seen what is lcnc or what is low code no code platform is catalan is the only tool available for lcnc it's not the case we have a lot and lot of tools such as like excel queue and other tools but Catalan Studio is the very famous one. And we have seen how the Catalan Studio works, what is the free version and the paid version. Basically to learn and understand LCNC, Catalan Studio free version is enough for us. Then we installed the Catalan Studio and we just created one sample scenario by going to the record web. We recorded everything and it came it as a functional script. Basically the, all the actions and the objects and the inputs. Then we have seen the background script also and we have seen the future options like a variables data binding and the chat gpt self-healing and so on and we have seen in the backend it is generating the different xpath or locators to have a consistent test automation also so this is the introduction part of the catalan studio and this is all about this video and always be a rainbow in others cloud